Is this it? Is this the end of web developers? Well, I've been using ChatGPT for quite some time now and I want to put it on a real test. The idea was to create a professional website with it and here are my results. As I already had some experience with it, I knew from the start that I cannot just generalize some inputs with it. That means that I cannot just ask it to build me a website because that won't work. So my plan was to ask it specific questions for each specific section and then bundle that all together. The first thing with that was to prepare a project. I asked ChatGPT about it and ChatGPT delivered. I also asked for HTML code with meta tags as well. I grabbed that code and pasted it into my file. But that was just the beginning. There was so much more. I immediately also asked it for the navigation markup. I just popped the question and it delivered that markup for me. Now it was time to style that markup of that navigation, but I wanted to play around with it a bit. So first of all, I asked it to reset my CSS, something like reboot CSS would do. With that reset, I was finally ready to style the navigation. It did that part, but not so great. Instead of aligning the navigation bar with CSS properly, it didn't know how that part will work, so I had to get involved. Now, this was not a big problem for me because I do know CSS, and the change was quite small, so I changed it manually. But for someone who doesn't know CSS, it can be quite frustrating because, as I said, the change was quite minor. Now, from that point on, I continued using it, and for some time it was quite good actually, until it needed to use the images. It started building my hero section, and HTML and CSS for that were quite good enough. But you see, I also wanted some image in this hero section. I asked for that image and this time it didn't deliver. So again, I had to do that part manually, even though I was trying to make that work for about 20 minutes. From that point on, I had to move forward, so I asked just for another section, section of services, it needed some time, I had a bit of chat with it, and it finally delivered some kind of HTML markup for that services. But let's pause it here for a second. You see, my site didn't use any frameworks. It was raw HTML and CSS. But still, somehow ChatGPT was defaulting its answers to Bootstrap framework. And that was actually apparent from the start, because all of the classes that ChatGPT used were bootstrap classes, but it just styled it manually. So I was just wondering, can it even remember what we were talking about and what we were, well, generally chatting about, what kind of website we were building here. I was obviously proven here that it cannot really get the point here, and it can also forget things from time to time. You see, I wanted my next section to have the same layout as services section, but instead of the services to be a blog. Even though I asked for the specific, well, the same layout and the same styling as from the services section, it just delivered this bootstrap styling, even though it's not what we used and it, it's not what we were building here. So once again, it defaulted to that bootstrap framework, even though from the start, I never used the word bootstrap at all. And with that, I had once again go back into my code and update the code manually so it does look as a section that I wanted to build. And yes, this blog section also had images, which meant that I again needed to add those images manually. So finally, once I finished this, I thought that this was behind me and that I will be able to just build this contact section that I wanted. But then it crashed. It crashed because a lot of people are actually using ChatGPT right now, so it cannot handle that rate of users. For me, that meant that I will have to start a new chat with it, and with that reset the whole AI process that we have. This is exactly what I was afraid of, as I knew that it will never know how to continue the current site layout. And that is exactly what happened again. It defaulted again back to the bootstrap styling, then to some kind of default form for this contact section that we were building, and finally to this form that you can see on a screen which just looks weird. So once again, I had to fix the code manually. I also had to finish the footer manually because of that crash that it had. It didn't know the styling of the website that we were using, so I had to just fi finish the work myself. 
If I would need to summarize my experience with it, it is not exceptional. It does feel good working with it, as it is quite futuristic. Also, I do think that for the moment it is much better generating blog posts and just text in general. And yes, it does work nice with code, it does know the structure of it, basic principles of design, but it doesn't excel in those. Also, it can crash really often, which means that whole new chat must be started. So, should we be scared for our jobs because of such tool? I think not, not at the moment at least. It is still far away from delivering amazing code and writing the whole project. But there is one positive here. For example, we could use it to save us some time and also do hard calculations with it as well, as otherwise we could just lose hours searching through Stack Overflow. Now, I know that for the moment it didn't deliver a professional site here, and to be honest, it is far away from it. But to build a professional site, even with Bootstrap, you can just watch this video here. Also, if you have any questions, now it would be the right time to ask those. Until the next time, cheers!